marshal's office has taken over the investigation and is working to find out exactly what caused the flames to start. We are told that construction on the units in the back of the hotel may have played a role. We continue our team coverage at the Osceola Council, where News 13's John W. Davis tells us community leaders are now stepping in to help. After a few hours, donations for displaced residents poured in by the truckload. You brought a lot of stuff, man. The Pacheco family has been living at the Uno Boutique Hotel on Arlo Bronson Memorial Highway in Kissimmee since May. They're thankful everyone, including their dogs Couture and Tiny, are okay. But the thought of losing almost everything in the three-alarm fire is gut-wrenching. We just decorated the little Christmas tree last night, and he was so excited um, decorating it. And just him watching all that smoke and all that fire and knowing that his Christmas tree was ruined and um, he was just worried about his backpack and all these little things that he was worried about and all the toys and it was very, very heartbroken for me to hear him talk like that. I was just there yesterday. That's why Reverend Tim is so passionate about helping the displaced hotel residents. He and several others organized and just held a holiday giveaway at the hotel on Thursday, less than 24 hours before the blaze. We were there for about four hours, handing out toys, gift boxes. We handed about 60 boxes full of food that would last them a month. It all burned up. Several others, many of them strangers, also donated food, toiletries, and clothing at the Osceola County on Aging Building, committed to helping the displaced families make it through the holidays. When they leave, I leave. I'm not going home until, until they're safe. That's the point. Kissimmee Middle School will serve as an emergency shelter for displaced residents. In Kissimmee, John W. Davis, News 13. For now, Kissimmee Middle School will serve as an emergency